So remember that cup competition that we won last year that I might have mentioned once or twice already? Well yeah, it's time to start a cup competition yet again. This time it's going to be a hell of a lot tougher. Last season we won the Division 2 League Cup which was great considering it was our first year as a club. But this time round we're entering the Division 1 League Cup meaning it's made up of the top 6 clubs in the league. I think it marks a quick progress that we've made as a club and the fact that we're ready for a new challenge. Think of it like this, last season we won the League Cup, this time we're going for the FA Cup. So the draw for the quarterfinal has been made and it turned out that we have to face our rivals Lansing who supposedly are unbeaten in two years. So we've already faced them twice, in the first game we gave them a good fight but we lost 3-1 and then the second we were well beaten. Yet I would describe Lansing is that they're a noisy bunch who just need to be put in their place. So this rivalry has been brewing for quite a bit now and I just find it funny that we're training next to the Amex on the same day as Brighton vs Crystal Palace. But the only thing we can really do is do what we do best and that is to play football. This time round we've got a really strong squad with a lot of our stars returning including Will who will be making his first appearance for us this season. He's been away with Shoreham which is a county team and just shows the talent that we could produce. Last season he scored in the semi and final and is somewhat of a cup master. The girls may go wild for him but his talent has even been noticed by some Premier League stars. Keeper's got to be that side though, isn't he? He has to be, but, yeah, but when you put it top mid, he's like... used the wind, didn't he? Huh? He's used the wind. <laughs> All jokes aside, our team is a really strong unit, and we definitely believe that we could get something out of this game. So if you've never watched us before, we are Preston Park FC and we are based in the Brighton and Worthing District League Division 1 and today our cup journey begins. Now if you guys all put in a, a shift today, you can definitely feel going on three points. So let's try and feel the five, be a bit confident going into the game. And if not, look, there's, there's nothing to do. They're not tidy with their touch, you know, they're a bit brutish. You know, we can do well. We're going to need to defend really well today, you know, so defence. Let's, let's look to defend first. Defend first. If we can find past the feet and play out from the back, then we'll, we'll look to do so. Come on, come on. 
Come on, guys. If you guys have noticed, but for the last 25 minutes of that half, we've pulled Rashid back so that we effectively have an extra man in the midfield area. And that's basically supported you a lot. Yeah, yeah? you're going to need to be doing that a lot more. If anything, I want you to kind of now play the game, always bearing that in mind. You guys are not going to be able to come out of those spaces. You've got to make sure you play that hole just in front of the defence. You're not going to be able to get pulled out because at the moment, you're giving us that solidity. As soon as you don't get pulled out, we're wide open. We go in exactly the same way, same way we just finished, and we and we look to try and get another goal, make the most of some of these opportunities we're getting. Yeah. yeah? Keep your heads there, go try and make us lose. One, one more thing, thing. one more thing, boys. You've got to like. If we're going in for tackles, if someone's flying in and they're going off at us, you've got to back us. Everyone's yeah. got to back yeah. each other. Yeah. We're all in this together. Yeah. You know, when I'm not, I'm not about to let any of you guys get mugged off by any of these boys. Yeah. This is our home pitch. Mm -hmm. They've come to our place, so we're not going to be intimidated. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. You know they're going to be up for this. We fucking give it right, to them. Yeah? Up the park on three. One, two, three. Up, up the park. The park. Position. Time, time. Yeah. 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 Get in! Get in there! Come on! AJ, that makes you worth it, doesn't it? Finals, 5-4. Crazy game. Deserved it. Deserved it. Put our hearts on the line. Yeah. We just beat the team that's unbeaten in the league. Apparently, they haven't lost in two years. They haven't lost in two years. Expect the unexpected. You just gotta play. Uh, everyone knows that. Preston Park is full of quality. And we've been saying that. It's just a matter of a time where all of us connect and get, get that gear. Definitely. Foot on the pedal, just like we did today. 5-4 win. Well, you finally make your first appearance with us yeah. of the season. First appearance of the season. And you get us a win against the top of the league, who are unbeaten Lansing. against Lansing. Well, what would you make of your return? Well, it, was, it was okay. Um, I think, think 
we got early lead, 3-0 lead, or 3-1 lead, something like that. Scored, scored some good goals in there, we battled well, and fucking exactly, mate. We all, we all fucking stuck in there. Like, when we conceded the goal, we could have easily had our heads down, but we didn't, we kept going, that's, that's what it's about. So that is how we got into the next round with an emphatic win against the unbeaten Lansing. We tactically outplayed them and we showed everyone why we could be such a difficult team to face. Now we have to quickly move on and face our biggest challenge of the season by going into the semi-final of our cup journey. Good morning lads, I know what you're probably thinking, watching this video, where's the beautiful bearded man in Hamaran? But today, for a little segment, it's going to be me doing it, I know what you're thinking, yep, what a great honour this is. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be interviewing some players, chatting to a couple of people, seeing what they feel like, because I think Hamaran's, I think he's buying Chelsea out this morning, he's late, so I don't know, I don't know what he's doing, but... Yeah, you got me filling in, so it's a huge game today, you know, it's going to be weird recording it, so it's going to be fun doing some interviews, but I will see you at the stadium. Right lads, we're on the way to the stadium, I've got with myself the beautiful, the best looking ginger, all winning centre back, Mr. Sammy Strange. How are you feeling mate, how's it feel to be back in the country, back with us? Hey, beautiful isn't it? Beautiful day, a massive semi. What else do you want, mate? It's the perfect day. It's the perfect day for a massive semi. What's your, what's your thoughts of that broad war? Obviously, undefeated, well known team, well respected. What's, what's your thoughts going into that? Well, I think we could be, I think we could be anyone. We've got a strong side today. I think we should really be more than our game. We can, we can play we can play the ball from the back, yep, get it yep. in. We've got, we've got options all over 100%. the pitch. We'll be alright. I think I think I fancy us for a win today. Big up, big up. And final question. Um, obviously, when I lose on the booze, what is going to be your choice of drink uh, after the game? I'm a Heineken man. Heineken I'm man. Well done. Man. That's a great choice. Exactly. That's a great choice. Right. So we've arrived at the stadium. Mr. Shaw himself is here. <laughs> Will Webb returning. How you feeling, mate? You feeling good? Mate, I'm feeling very good. Feeling yeah. very good. Look at the, look at the day out here. It's a lovely day. People are smiling. People are happy. But we're in the semi-finals. We've got to come here. Yeah. We've got to enjoy it. We've got to play well as a team. Everyone's got to do their job, you know. Yeah. So Broadwater, obviously undefeated all season. Looks like a very good team. Um, but obviously we've got to play our own game. How are you feeling? How are you faring up? Obviously, well, look, we're nice. going to be the team to break it. So we, we, We've played against undefeated teams before. They yep. don't get happy about getting beaten, but they mm -hmm. still get beat eventually, do you know what I mean? Yep. And look, we just got to play against them. We know individually they're going to be fucking good. Yep. But individually, we have to be on our fucking best the whole time to beat them. And um, look, no one can slack. No, no one can slack today. Good man, good man. Well, it's good to have you back, mate. I'm hoping to see a couple top bin free kits as always. <laughs> oh, and last question. Yes, yeah. Win or lose on the booze, what's your drink after the game? Double cracking and coke. Nice, no, it's your I'll choice. <laughs> the fact that this is a um, Division 1 League Cup, does it make it... Does it put more pressure on you? Ah, football is football. Gotta enjoy the game. Enjoy the moments. Take care how it is, step by step. As our top scorer, do you think um, there's more responsibility that you have as well? Of course, yeah, as, as, as a top scorer. But as long as the team wins, I'm good. So after a long wait, the semi-final is finally here. Like Joe said, this team is unbeaten after beating Lansing themselves. Meaning it would have to be the second time that we beat top of the table in order to go through to the next round. It's exactly why we're in this cup, to show that we're more than capable of challenging against the top side and proving that we are one of the best in the division.
looking around the room, you know, I'm really pleased that we've been able to get a really strong squad out today that I believe is more than capable of getting the result. What I'm going to ask from you guys today is just to be, and this is, this is for everyone as individuals, if we can kind of all stick to these principles, you know, let's be supportive of your teammates, you know, in and out of possession of the ball. Someone makes a mistake, let's not get on their back. Let's, let's pick them back up. I want us to, to play with an intensity. Two, yes, three, four, five. We're not a team that's going to be pumping it. We're going to try and play. But for that to happen, we've got to give ourselves the best chance. Six, seven, well done, eight, well done, nine, ten, excellent. Let's also bear in mind that these guys are not going to be mucked today. They're top of the league. There's a reason for that. So, let's all be together. Let's go out and win this game. Sam, Pope's. Yeah? Strong starts. Making sure your first touches are good. You get the ball and you can't see a pass either into here or into here. Just trust me, you'll have that good Jackson. Same job that we got from you again last year. I think, you know, if that were the game, you really showed how important you could be to this team just for those areas. The, the way that we blocked the passing lane in that game was class. And effectively, the way we set up today, I should be able to see that again. We believe that you guys are much better ballers than them, and I think that you guys can go out there and play more.
So that was the end of our cup journey. Even though we didn't reach our target to win the cup, we definitely reached our goal and was to show exactly what sort of football that we play.